Howdy, this is Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I'm bringing you an algebra lesson on slope. The slope is a very important concept, not only in algebra, but also in science. You will use slope in chemistry, in physics, and in calculus. This is especially true for calculus because calculus's foundation, the derivative, is based on slope. Therefore, knowing how to work with and find slope is essential. In this lesson, you will learn how to correctly set up a graph, what the definition of slope is, where the y-intercept is, and how to use the slope-intercept form. Let's start with what makes a good graph. Every good graph has straight lines, so use a ruler. Freehand lines just don't cut it. A good graph has the x-axis and the y-axis labeled, and every good graph has a proper scale. The slope of a line is a ratio. It is the comparison of the change in y and the change of x. The equation of this ratio is delta y over delta x, or the change in y divided by the change in x. Many people, in an effort to remember this equation, refer to slope as the rise over the run. However, you need to know the meaning if you're going to master its many applications. So learn what slope actually means, and remember, that change means you're going to have a difference. That is, delta y means y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and delta x means x sub 2 minus x sub 1. All this is, is the ratio of the distances between the coordinates of the points. But it has many uses in, in the mathematical and scientific worlds. The y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point that intersects the y-axis, and its x-coordinate is always zero. Finding the y-intercept is easy, but don't let that fool you. It is very important. Let's try finding a slope. There's our equation. Let's pick a couple of points and plot them on the graph. I'm going to pick 4, 7, and negative 2, 1. Now enter the coordinates into the equation. There's the change in y and the change in x. And the answer is 1. So the slope is 1. Now let's find the y-intercept and write an equation for this line. y equals mx plus b is the slope-intercept formula. The slope is 1, the y-intercept is 3. So the equation is y equals 1 plus 3, or y equals x plus 3. Okay, time for a recap. The slope is the ratio of the change in y and the change in x. The y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point that intersects the y-axis. And the slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. All right, let's look at how to use slope and do a couple of examples. Example 1, find the slope of the line that passes through the following two points, negative 3, 4, and 5, negative 2. First, write out the slope formula for the two points. Next, fill in the coordinates. And the answer is negative 3 fourths. Let's check our answer by graphing it. Draw the axis, plot the points, and draw a line through the points. Now draw the change in y and the change in x, and you get negative 6 over 8, just as we calculated. Example 2. Find the equation of this line. Well, we need a plan. So first, choose two points. Next, find the slope. Then find the y-intercept, and finally, write the equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, let's choose 3 and negative 2, and negative 3 and 0 as our points, and then put the points into the slope formula. And 
and you get negative one-third. Now find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative one. So the equation for this line is y equals negative one-third x minus one. If you have any questions about this video, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com and have a